Hey there, Slightly Redneck again here with another video and uh, today I'm playing with some ropes. Um, I'm going to be showing you uh, how, to, uh, how to use ropes in a practical situation, how to use uh, knots in a practical situation. I've got a series of uh, knot tying videos that teaches you how to tie each of the individual knots that I'm, I'm going to be tying in this, uh, in this video. Uh, but this video is going to be more uh, on how to choose what knot um, that you're going to use whenever it comes to, to certain situations. So what I'm going to do is just walk you through a series of uh, different uh, things that I use ropes for here on a, on a regular basis and uh, just kind of show you how I put those knots to use. So, you know, I'll have links throughout the video, like I said, that'll show you how to get from, you know, if, I, if I'm tying a specific knot, I'll put a link in the video and show you um, how to get to my other video that shows you how to actually tie that knot. Um, so... Let me keep this a little bit shorter than normal and, and stop babbling on and we'll just get right to it. Alright, first thing uh, I'm going to do here is tie this corner of this tarp out. I've already got some of it tied out, but I saved it for, uh, for this video. I've got this high reflective uh, cord here so people don't trip on it. I want to tie this out to where, uh, you know, I give a little bit of a protection for my, my bunnies here in the, the shed from the wind and those kinds of things with winter coming up. Uh, so. Um, you know, this is a perfect application for a uh, taut line hitch. This is going to hold this tight, give me an adjustable knot that I can adjust the tension on. So when the wind blows a lot and flaps this around and loosens that knot up, it doesn't shred my tarp up. And uh, I can just come out and tighten it back up whenever I'm done. And it's, it's super easy, uh, super simple to use. So the first thing I need to do, and this is where it comes in knowing how to, how to tie the proper knot, is I need to attach a, a rope to this tarp. Two, no, two knots that I use primarily for attaching a rope, and it doesn't matter which one you want to use in this situation. I primarily use a bowline as my primary knot because it's very easy not to tie. It's a very easy knot to untie. It holds tight. I can tie it really quick with one hand. Uh, the other knot that I'll use in some applications is uh, two half hitches, and I'll show you something here in a minute where I've used that instead of a bowline, and hopefully that'll make sense. Um, and then I'm just going to tie a top line hitch here to... Uh, hold my tarp up and if you uh, need to see how to tie either one of these knots um, I'll put a link in the top of the video here you can get to the bowline knot learn how to tie that very easy knot to tie and then I'll put a link in the video next for uh, for this taut line hitch so you can get it up close and personal but again this is a very easy knot to tie all I do is uh, just two wraps around I'll do one wrap around the top and if you watch that video on how I tie a, a taut line hitch you'll see that in the video and it's tied and then again I can tighten that up I can loosen that up to give it more slack or just pull it tight and it's going to hold this tarp out plenty tight enough for me uh, prevent all you know uh, per allow this to uh, to give a little bit in the wind um, but give me an easy access point to, to tighten it up and, and loosen it up and if I need to take this tarp down for any reason I just loosen it up take it off the stake and it's completely loose so you can see the other knots behind me they've been holding pretty tight for Oh, I've had these tied for, I don't know, a week and a half, something like that, and they're working just fine. So, that's one good example. Let me take you around and show you a few more. All right. Here's another example of where I'm going to use some ropes. You can see this post over here is starting to, to tilt out, and until I get some time to, uh, to fix that properly, reset the post, re-concrete it in the ground, I'm going to use a rope here, and I'm just going to tie it um, and pull these posts together because my dog's figured out that she can push on this, push this gate open, and she can get out in the front yard. She can go anywhere, but she's an 85-pound pit bull mix, so people get a little bit paranoid about that. So I'm going to try to keep her in the yard. Um, this is a situation where I am going to use, uh, I need to attach a, a, a rope to this, but I am going to use two half inches instead of my normal bowline because um, because this pole, if I tie a bowline around it, it creates a big loop, and it's not going to be tight to this pole. That means every time I untie it, it's going to fall down to the ground, I'm going to have to pick it back up every time I want to retie it. So two half hitches will hold it up uh, closer to the pole, and I won't have to worry about it falling down the pole every time that it's got slack on it. So there's two half hitches tied. Up. So you can see I let slack on it. It just stays right there. So that's good. So then I'm going to use a trucker's hitch on this because I need to get a lot of tension on this pole to pull that pole in. So I'm going to tie myself a slip knot here because I'm only going to do um, be pulling on it one direction. And what I mean by that is I'm going to be putting tension on this way. And when I put tension on it this way, it doesn't tighten up. Now, if I needed to put tension on it the other way, it does. It, I don't know if you can see that. It tightens up around my finger. So that would be a situation where I'd want to use an alpine butterfly. So again, 
you need to tie it, learn how to tie two half hitches, there's a link. Um, I probably already displayed it actually. That'll show you how to tie that. I'll show you how to tie this uh, this slip knot here. Don't crank down on that. Don't make it real tight right there. And then I'll I'll put a link in the video here to show you an up close and personal how to tie this trucker's hitch. But you can see in real life, this is a super easy knot. I can put an incredible amount of tension on that. You can probably see that post already pulled in. Very easy to hold the tension there. And just put a half hitch with a loop in it right there. That's not going to come undone no matter how much she pushes on that. This is the knot I use whenever I tie down cargo in the back of a truck. Tie onto one side of the truck. Uh, throw it over the cargo. Wrap around a pivot point on the other side of the truck. Tie a, a slip knot in it. Crank down on that to get all kinds of tension on that and hold that stuff down. Super, super tight. Very easy to tie and very easy to untie. So great knot to learn for these types of situations. So let me show you one or two more things where I, I use a, a knots in different situations. All right, one more one more thing I, I use knots for. It's a propane tank. I've got a little bit of a propane torch here that I use to burn uh, weeds out of the fence, and I need to strap it to this dolly. You could use a uh, you know ratchet strap if you wanted to, but the problem with a ratchet strap is you're going to have all kinds of tag hanging off the back of it. So I'm just going to use a short piece of paracord here, and I'm just going to tie it to this dolly. So you know I think on this on this um, job here, I'm going to need quite a bit of tension to hold it to that. I don't want it flopping around and, and, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to tie somewhere around the middle. Um, I could put two ropes on it if I wanted to, but I don't think I'm going to need two ropes. First thing I'm going to do is attach this rope to the dolly. And there's a bar back here that keeps this rope from sliding down very far. So I'm just going to use a bow line to attach it. I don't need to worry about two half hitches to keep the rope in place. It's going to stay there anyway. So got my bow line tied. I'm going to wrap it around. Wrap around my pivot point on the other side. And I'm going to form me a slip knot somewhere right around in here. Put quite a bit of tension on that. It's going to hold that plenty tight. I don't have a whole bunch of rope hanging off the back end. You can see that is strapped to the dolly. So there's a couple of places where uh, I use knots on a regular basis. It may not be the typical, you know, tying something down in the back of a truck, but there's a pretty good uh, array of knots that I use there. And knowing the proper one to use makes the job quick, makes it easy, and you know, a lot of times it's actually easier to tie these knots once you learn them than it is to, uh, to work a ratchet strap, especially on something you're going to have to untie fairly frequently because, you know, those ratchet strap uh, buckles tend to bind up on you and it's become difficult to, to undo over time. So, you know, definitely a, a good skill to know. Learn how to tie some, uh, tie some knots. And I'll have a couple of links in the end of the video here. Um, you know, one thing I didn't show because I don't have an application for it right now is, uh, you know, a sheet bend and, and, and a square knot, um, how to attach two ropes together. So. I'll put links in the video here that will show you how to do that. If um, I have two pieces of rope and I need a really long piece, I have no problem with tying those two ropes together to make a really long piece. Even if I've got to use like a trucker's hitch, I'm going to tighten it down real tight. A, a sheet bent uh, will, will hold well. A square knot will hold fine too. You're not going to have to worry about either one of those knots coming undone under tension. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Hopefully you've enjoyed uh, this series of videos and please leave me some comments. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see, and um, as always, uh, thanks for watching, and God bless.